Hello guys, this is Mike from Programming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about what a buffered reader is. Nowadays, I just use Scanner to read uh, text from files, but what was most commonly used before that was a buffered reader. And that really isn't what's reading a file. A buffered reader surrounds an input stream reader which is actually an object or a file reader and those are what the objects that read the text and all the characters on a file and you wrap that into a buffered reader and what that does is it's safer for your computer and more efficient to send all of the data into a buffer and then spit it out that way and I'm going to show you how to create a buffered reader right now but first I need to create a file that we can even read so right here we're gonna go click on the project that we're in I'm just on advanced 12 buffered reader I'm gonna say new file and let's say example.txt if you don't write .txt you're gonna have problems so make sure you write .txt as the extension and we should have it down here and let's just write a few things um, hello my name is Mike this is the second second line can't think of anything to type about blah 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 alright so we got let's save it we got four lines of text right here and we want to send that through a buffered reader and a buffered reader takes in two parameters so let's start off and give a name let's say buffered reader and give it a variable name br and we're going to set that equal to null because we want to we want to instantiate the new buffered reader inside the try catch and we also want to say we're going to declare a string we're going to say line and that will be the current line that we will be reading from so let's just import the buffered reader class and now we can I'm not going to write the try catch I like when the computer does it for me so I'm going to just say br equals the new buffered reader and like I said in its constructor we can add in a uh, file reader or an input stream reader and I'm going to show you a shortcut because normally what you would want to do or not normally but one thing you could do is to say fr for file reader and say equals new file reader and we're going to throw in that file what is it example.txt so example.txt okay so let's import all of that so uh, control shift O okay and then we could just put in FR if we wanted to and we would have to try and catch this whole thing Let's see try catch and it's kind of a mess we can do it that way if we wanted to but I don't want to do it that way the way I want to do it to show you how to save lines of code and actually make this less confusing is we're gonna take this little segment right here and just create the new file reader inside of this constructor there we go so now it says BR, which is the variable name for the buffered reader, equals the new buffered reader that takes in the parameter, a new file reader that reads this file. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to create a while loop and read from the file. And the way we do that is we want to say while line, we're going to set the line equal to the buffered reader dot read line. And we're going to say while that is not equal to null, we want to print out add. Okay, so that throws an I exception and a file not found exception. Okay, 
So the IO exception in the hierarchy will should overtake the other file not found exception. And now we can print out each line of text. So let's just do that. System dot out dot print line. We'll say line because we set line equal to the the buffered reader dot read line method. So we can just throw in line if we really wanted to. Okay, and that should be it. I think this will work. So there we go. We printed out everything from that text file and that's what the buffered reader is and what an input stream reader would do is it's a good tool for allowing to pass into an input stream reader into its parameters system.in for example because it wants to take in some type of input stream so that is the basic buffered reader there's also a buffered writer that Maybe I'll get to in the next tutorial, and if I don't, I'll get into the scanner and show you how the scanner does a much better job, or, or at least when it comes to counting lines of how much code you have to write and the simplicity of it, how much better a scanner is for reading files at this point. So, thank you all for watching.